watch the sun go down over the same old town like so many times before we look at the same old stars battle the same old wars like so many times before and i know that we're not perfect Baby, hi, <laughs> hi, hi, hi. Hey. hey guys, what's up? How are you all doing? So, I just finished filming my kitchen review, and if you are seeing this video, that means that video is already up. So, just go and watch the video if you want to find out how much I spent in the kitchen, what I did, what I didn't do, what I bought, what I didn't buy, everything, and all your questions about my kitchen renovations. All the details are in that video, so just go and watch it and you know, see how I transformed this my beautiful kitchen. Cora, say hi. Hi, you guys. Let me tell you guys one, one quick embarrassing story okay so that was how i was here i was just enjoying myself filming my video because since my kids resumed school my husband has been the one taking them to school hey hey don't make noise okay so since my kids resumed school my husband has been the one taking them to school bringing them back he went to pay their school fees did everything uniforms everything school supplies he did everything so i wasn't even in the frame of mind of ah my children i have children that go to school i was just used to enjoying waking up anytime I want. Anyway, long story short, today I was filming video and this beautiful damsel, Amarachi, now came to meet me and said, and it's time for school runs. I mean, what did she even say, Steph? I was more than 30 minutes late. Like, I forgot that I have children. That's it. I forgot I have children. Don't talk of children that are in school. So I totally forgot, my dear. That was how I now rushed out of the house to go and pick them. Yeah, I was like 40 minutes late by the time I got to their school. So, Cora, Yes, How was school today? It was very fine. It was very fine. Did you enjoy school? What did you do in school today? I learned about um, living things and non-living things. Wow! Tell me an example of a living thing. Tree. Tree. Good! Um, I'm, uh, what's her name? Eva. You people should look at your girl. Your girl Eva. Eva, 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 you just got back from school. Why can't you go and rest? Do you have assignment? You don't have assignment. I can't. You don't have. <laughs> what What's the assignment about? I don't know. You don't know. Okay. Hi, Hi, <laughs> Hi. <laughs> by the way, I also mentioned in my kitchen review video that I also redid my store, okay? I had to remove all the shelving that was in my store and that's because the shelving there was whack, okay? It was whack and it was weak, okay? So we removed all the shelving, actually my husband did. Thank you. 
bukan kami lah satu. Did you go and buy this crowbar today? Why do we have this cotton in this place? had these supermarket shelves installed okay yes instead of me i was actually thinking of getting like my carpenter to do like a proper pantry shelving and all of that but to be honest after the stress i went through with them for this kitchen i was like nope i can't go through that stress twice and wood is not even that cheap okay wood all those things the um whatever the iron you used to hang it up and all of that all those things are not even cheap so i was just like instead of me to go through all that stress and all this Wahala of Carpenter said this did not say that. Let me just go ahead and buy supermarket shelves. So I bought 
two supermarket shelves they fit perfectly inside the store my husband helps me to set them up because they, they look very complicated to me so he helps me he set them up after setting them up then we arranged everything back into the store i did a lot of decluttering as usual even though this time i didn't have so much to throw away because i've been i throw away things almost every time so i didn't really have much to declutter from my store but i still threw away some more things so yeah let me quickly show you guys what my store is looking like right now i'm so excited okay let's go <laughs> guys so that's the finished look my husband finished work for here okay <laughs> my husband finished work for here but this place looks really good we had to remove the curtains that was there the blinds actually remove the blinds that was there because it served no purpose i felt i'm concerned so yeah this is the supermarket shelf i said i bought i bought two of them on each side um here i have my um kitchen appliances, mixer, blender, my famous blender, you guys know this blender, Hamilton Beach people ask me a lot, where did I get my blender, how much, where, 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 I bought it in Nigeria so if you're not in Nigeria, you can click the link and buy it from Amazon but if you're in Nigeria, just check around, okay, you'll find it but it's not in normal stores, it's in stores where they bring in things from the abroad, okay and this is frying pan I got from NJ's wedding um, those are, that's mortar some plastic, some trays, that's my grill okay, you guys don't see what I'm showing you this was in my kitchen before, this was what we used to store plates but right now we just put plastic inside it because it has no purpose right now um, this is where we have Sophia's things extra stuff for Sophia, her feeding stuff yeah, so inside this basket I have different odds and bits or whatever they call them then inside here I have disposable plates as well the ones with cover and then here I have all my ziplock bags both the large ones the, the sandwich size and stuff like that freezer bags they are all inside here and this is extra paper towel tissue paper and then all my cleaning supplies are here what is missing here is actually washing detergent we used to have area here then this one is the one for Sophia's clothes we also use it sometimes but most times I tell them to keep it for Sophia okay let all of us use area then that's extra diaper for Ava you guys so I'm done with all my filming for today today was quite productive for me yeah quite productive so I want to just quickly pack up all my makeup and brushes and Orishi Orishi I'm just clear here clear this place very well so I can start editing my video in a clear space um, yeah, so I'm quickly, I'm just wiping down all my Am I the only one that does this? Anytime I do my makeup, I have to wipe down all my makeup Sometimes I use um, hand sanitizer or I just use wipes or sanitizing wipes or just normal wipes In fact, most times it's normal wipes, okay? I use it to just clean all my makeup to remove all the residue, you know, powder Or, you know, maybe your hand has foundation, you now touch your other makeup products um, That is what I try to clean off using baby wipes and yeah it helps me keep my makeup neat that's why my makeup always looks like brand new can you guys see this this is my color pop and this one is my um zaron brown skin yeah i love this one a lot it's a very good match so you can see that they look they still look very neat i just need to wipe down anyone that has any stain on it and i put it back and then i wash my brushes too after every use the reason why i can do that is because i don't do makeup that often like after today's makeup i don't think i'll i'm going to put makeup on my face till maybe any day i have to film again yeah any day i have to film again basically i only do makeup for filming these days so that's why i wash my brushes after every use i'm saying that because i know that it's not practical for people who have to do makeup every single day it's not practical to wash up except you have so many brushes that you know you can keep some to dry for like two days yeah anyway uh, so I'm just bringing out all the dirty brushes. I always keep my brushes here. So most times I just wash all the brushes, even the ones that I've washed before, I wash them again and nothing spoiled. So I put my beauty blender here. So I'm going to wash all these now. Except this comb. This comb is not really dirty. Because I remember washing it. But maybe I'll just wash it here. Anyway, let me just quickly clear out this space and I'll be right back. Okay. 
All right, guys, so I'm done clearing my space. By the way, these glasses are from Why Are My Shades on Instagram, anti-blue light glasses. So they help reduce the blue light that comes from your screen to your eyes. It helps reduce it, okay? This, my monitor, is actually anti-blue light as well, or actually has anti-blue light, anti light features as well. So when I'm using this monitor, I really don't need it. But because I use this my laptop and my phone all the time, I have to just protect my eyes because I'm sure I use screen or I look at the screen longer than most normal people, okay? Most of us YouTubers, videographers and stuff like that, social media people, I'm sure we use this, we look at screen longer than normal people, okay? So to protect my eyes, that's why I got these shades. Are they cute? Do I look like a, a professor? Do I look like that teacher? <laughs> so this is the closest I'll come to professorship for my dad. <laughs> If you guys know that story, comment, comment it down in the comment section why I said for my dad. But yeah, I'm supposed to go and wash off my makeup and you know just change to my normal house outfit. But I might film a video with Nelo this evening. Yes, hey, my dear, it's, it's really tough on this street, okay? The hustle is real on this street, <laughs> on this YouTube street. So we're supposed to film a video today. Hopefully we can film it. If we don't film it, then tomorrow. But I don't want to change or even wipe my makeup so that... I look presentable for the video okay but yeah um i hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video thank you guys so much for watching if you liked my video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel subscribe here and then watch my other videos here okay and i'll see you in my next video bye guys Mwah.